All right, guys. Welcome to PMP Outdoors podcast. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably episode two. Haven't made any kind of videos in a while. Been pretty busy. Graduated school, moved houses. I've barely been fishing. Look for some deer here and there. Barely done any scouting, but you know, I kind of have an idea where I'm gonna hunt. Regardless of the quality of bucks there, if you followed along, you know I'm not just incredibly worried about killing a giant. Um, I'll, you know, take whatever. Anyways, uh, on future podcasts, I kind of plan on, you know, having some friends or whomever. That way you don't sit here and listen to me ramble on. Um, But it's still kind of a work in progress, you know, getting everything set up. I want to get, I got to get some more tripods. I'm recording off my laptop, so the quality is probably not the best. But at least the sound's probably decent. One of the things I wanted to get into, I'm just going to come right out the gate and go on a tangent about, is um, the amount of people who put down dog hunters or like party hunters as in you know a human drives you got the people out there pushing deer to each other i it just it, it cracks me up the amount of people who try to tell other people how to hunt or what they should do and half the time it's people that i mean they don't even hunt anywhere near like anywhere near where you're hunting you know um people get mad over bait which I mean whatever that's always kind of cracked me up I guess if you want to make it harder to go find a tree drop in acorns and hunt over that but that's the you, you know whatever that's that's a whole nother discussion but um as far as the dog hunting goes I just think that's it's just funny to me um it's a tradition that's kind of it's kind of a dying thing now especially here in Arkansas we you definitely still have people that run deer dogs but it's not near as um as present as it used to be and i'm thankful i got on a deer lease this year where um i'll be able to run dogs and have that kind of fun and in turn i will be uploading those on here whether it's me shooting or if i'm just running the camera for somebody whatever it may be and uh some some of these die hard hunters are really going to lose their mind when i you know kill a basket rack in front of dogs because in front of dogs that's another thing I'm going to be a little bit more picky this year, unless I'm bow hunting. I've never got um, any kind of buck with my bow. Oh, well, I say that. My first year with a bow was a spot. I was like 13, and I thought it was a doe. It was like right at dark. I mean, it was legal either way, but I really did. I couldn't see the little horns on him. And then I killed a, a doe on public land hunting from the ground. That was pretty cool. That was before I started filming. So for those of you who are, who think I just hunt over bait, I promise you that I don't. I, I literally hunt deer every legal way possible. Um, and now I'm added another way to the arsenal, which is uh, deer dogs. And I, I believe me and some buddies, we were talking, I had a friend over yesterday, we're going to try to get a party hunt together and uh, try to push deer on top of each other. As long as it's legal, I'll have to double check the regulations for that because we were planning on doing it on public so i'll have to make sure that's legal but um yeah but anyways going back to the the deer dog topic one of my favorite one of my favorite stories is my brother-in-law on the same deer lease that i was speaking about that i got on so everybody runs cell cameras now right yeah you know i don't but you know most people do when when you're in college and you're broke all the time you're not too worried about running cell cams but anyways, so one of the ways they utilize those is, you know, during gun season when you can run deer dogs, is you get a picture before daylight of that big buck in there. You can be like, hey, let's go in here and dump the dogs on them, see if we can, you know, get them killed or whatever. So at about 7 o'clock, uh, I don't remember what day, but during gun season, about 7 a.m., he had a picture of a nice buck on camera. They went and put the dogs on him. And they um, they ran this deer for like three or four hours and couldn't get him killed. And then before the dogs lost him. And that evening before dark, he was back in the same exact spot on camera that they turned loose on. 
and I wish he would have saved the photos so I could add them in here. So I could add those photos in here as proof, because now you just have to believe me to say it. Um, you know, I run rabbit dogs religiously. I don't run deer dogs that often. Like I said, I'm getting into that, um, you know, this winter. But when I'm seeking permission on certain private ground, and you know, it's totally up to the landowner, and I, I understand they um, can say no, and that ain't that's not the issue. And I'm not going to argue with them. It's their land. If you don't want us in there, that's fine. But a lot of times I hear the, uh, you're, they're going to run my deer off. They're going to run my deer off. And I'm like, man, a deer has a home range. And they're going to stay in that home range. And that, that was a prime example of that deer in his home range. That's where he wanted to be. <laughs> he knows them dogs weren't on him anymore. He knows he can go right back to what he was doing. Same thing, you know, for rabbit dogs. So, I, I I don't ask permission during, you know, most people, they're done hunting by December. Like, around here, we have a three-day Christmas hunt where you can use a gun after gun season and everything. Most people, they'll hunt that, and then they're done for the year. And I, I usually start running rabbit dogs in December and try to get to, uh, to I start running rabbit dogs, you know, in about December and Hit up most of the spots where I know I'm not going to run into many deer hunters and what have you. And I deer hunt too, so I completely understand. But, um, yeah, the whole deer argument always cracks me up. I remember one time, me and a buddy, we were running dogs in July. Or, it was, it was yeah, I think it was July, early in the morning. And uh, our dogs kind of went over the line on a rabbit. And they weren't running the deer, but they bumped them out of bed or whatever while they were running the rabbit. And the landowner saw the deer running, and he about come unglued. Because he was very upset because he thought we ran the deer off of his property that he manages. And it it's kind of ironic because it was only 80 acres, which is a good chunk of land. But to say you can really manage a deer population on 80 acres, I mean, they're not spending their whole time there. A deer's home range is pretty big. You, know, you can increase the habitat and things like that and up your chances. But either way, that was that was kind of ironic to me. And I'm sure the deer came back. I'd like to go back and talk to him and ask him how he did that season. I haven't talked to him since. But um, that was always, that was just one of them things. You know, people are kind of out for dog hunters. You know, same thing like you can't coon hunt here you're gonna scare off all the deer well dogs do make mistakes or people don't train them right and they do run deer if you got a young pup you haven't been able to break off a deer if they're rabbit dogs or whatever but even if they run them for a bit man i'm telling you the deer will come back i get if you're hunting and um some dogs come through and they ruin your hunt or whatever i understand being upset i really do but to say like after season and stuff like that, if you know, if you don't want people on your property, you don't want people on your property. That's completely understandable. But to sit there and say, you know, it's because my deer are scared off is just it's just kind of I just can't I just couldn't disagree more, quite frankly. And um, and then there's the people think it's unethical, I guess, to run dogs and shoot deer in front of them. And I really don't understand that argument either. Because um, that's kind of universal. That's from the diehards that don't bait or nothing. They just hunt public or hunt trails or hunt sign or whatever. And But you also got the people that will sit at corn piles. and Which I do I do all of that. You know, I, I hunt corn piles. I, I do hunt off sign sometimes. I bow hunt off sign. But it's just, it drives me insane. Because I'm like, it's perfectly legal it's not affecting you if you if you don't have much land you don't need to turn deer dogs loose okay i can agree with that because that's just you're gonna have to have a huge chunk if you're gonna run deer dogs but i mean even when you're running deer dogs they'll come back and a lot of times if your neighbors run deer dogs it'll get deer up on their feet and moving you know if they're not moving i've been I used to live on a bluff, and down below me was a deer club, and they turned deer dogs loose, and they pushed deer up, up on top, come out in our field, and that's how we killed many deer, just sitting on the back deck when the dogs bumped them out of the woods, killed coyotes doing that. It gets game up and moving. Um, 
And I guarantee you, you would not complain if a big buck ran out in front of you being chased by hounds. I, I, I guarantee you 90% of people would shoot them. But like I said, the, the, my argument is when the landowners say they run the deer off, it's not that I think everybody should be given permission. It's your land. You do what you want to do. But please, if that's your argument, please do some more research. Don't just take my word for it. I'm sure there's other things out there. I will work on this year getting proof because I really want that same scenario again. Or even, this could appease you, if we get a deer on camera that morning and we run deer dogs all day. And it may not be the same deer, but there's still deer that night that come back to the same spot. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. But either way, guys, I hope this kind of cleared the air on some of that stuff but um i just felt this weighing heavy on me i wanted to kind of bring up the deer dog conversation and if you do not like dog hunting you will not like my channel and you will not like me so anyways hope you enjoy next up i'm gonna have a guest it might be a random guest maybe a slightly let known guest maybe nobody all right